In turning operations, when the tool machines apart, a helical screw-shaped pattern is left on the surface. The extent of the surface roughness that results from the pattern depends upon the shape of the tool and the feed rate per revolution. Take for example, a tool with a circular tip. That has a radius R. That is moving with a feed rate of F millimeters per revolution. For the shown equation, the maximum roughness height in millimeters is equal to the square of the feed rate in millimeters per revolution divided by 8 times the tool tip radius in millimeters. The condition for the shown equation to be applicable is that the feed rate should be less than or equal to twice the tool tip radius and that the depth of cut should be larger than or equal to the maximum surface roughness height. Now let's see how we can get a smoother surface finish. In order to obtain a smaller value of the maximum roughness height, the feed rate per revolution should be reduced. In other words, to get a smoother surface finish, while keeping the RPM constant, the translational speed at which the tool moves in the axial direction during machining should be reduced. As can be seen on the two shown pictures, when the feed rate per revolution is reduced, the maximum roughness height is also reduced. This can also be concluded from the shown equation, where it can be seen that the maximum roughness height would vary with the square of the feed rate. As for the effect of the tool tip radius on the roughness height, looking at the equation, it can be seen that as the radius of the tool tip increases, the roughness height decreases, thus producing a smoother surface. Shown here, is a movie of turning using a straight edge tool instead of a round edge tool. The geometry of a straight edge tool, can be defined using two angles, theta s, and theta e. For tools with straight edges, the maximum height of the surface roughness depends on the feed rate and the geometry of the tool's tip. In the shown equation, the maximum roughness height in millimeters for tools with straight edges is equal to the feed rate in millimeters per revolution, divided by the addition of the tangent of the angle theta s and the cosine of the angle theta e. The condition for the shown equation to be applicable is that the depth of cut should be larger than or equal to the maximum surface roughness height.